SpaceX seeks a waiver to launch Starship at least nine times this year. As SpaceX approaches its initial Starship launch of 2024, which could occur within the next three weeks at its Starbase facility in South Texas, the company is actively engaging with regulators to boost the frequency of its flights. In a recent media briefing, Kelvin Coleman, the Administrator for Commercial Space Transportation at the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, revealed ongoing efforts to streamline the licensing process for Starship launches in collaboration with SpaceX. They're aiming for a rather aggressive launch schedule this year, Coleman noted. They're considering, I believe, at least nine launches. That's quite significant. With each launch requiring modifications and individual attention, it poses a substantial workload. We've been in constant communication with SpaceX, working around the clock to devise strategies for managing this. We're fully invested in supporting the company and will collaborate closely to expedite their operations. Following SpaceX's decision to conduct Starship launches and landing attempts in Texas approximately five years ago, the company underwent a comprehensive environmental review process overseen by the FAA. Subsequently, SpaceX obtained approval, based on a final programmatic environmental assessment completed in June 2022, to conduct up to five Starship launches annually from its South Texas site. However, SpaceX is currently seeking a modification of this limit to accommodate a higher flight rate, as confirmed by an FAA official. SpaceX's inaugural Starship launch in April 2023, although groundbreaking, resulted in significant damage to the launch site near Boca Chica Beach and raised environmental concerns due to debris dispersion in the surrounding wetlands. The ensuing anomaly investigation and regulatory review process lasted approximately six months, reflecting the complexity of the incident, according to Coleman. The company's second launch attempt in November saw improved success, with the first stage booster, Super Heavy, experiencing a mostly nominal flight and the Starship upper stage separating from the booster before encountering an anomaly and being lost. Notably, there was no damage reported on the ground during this launch. Coleman highlighted that the FIA's involvement in the anomaly review process for this launch was significantly less extensive compared to the previous incident. Elon Musk, SpaceX's founder, has indicated that the third Starship launch attempt is scheduled for early to mid-March, with optimism regarding its potential to achieve orbit. Coleman expressed regulatory alignment with this timeline. During congressional testimony in October, SpaceX Vice President of Build and Flight Reliability, Bill Gerstenmeier advocated for increased resources for the FAA's licensing review processes, given the surge in U.S. launches and the influx of new companies seeking regulatory approval for spaceflight activities. Coleman echoed Gerstenmeier's sentiments, acknowledging the agency's need for additional staffing to effectively manage the growing workload. He emphasized ongoing efforts to expand the organization's workforce across various locations to meet regulatory demands effectively.